Hey guys, welcome to motorrides.com. My name is Amit Changani and we have been driving the Audi Q7 uh, petrol 40 TFSI for some time now. And a lot of people have talked about the Audi virtual cockpit. Although not a lot of people have described how it works since this is considered to be one of the most advanced uh, instrument consoles out there. We thought that we'll take this uh, opportunity to give you a quick understanding of how this works. Now this one comes with a 12.3 inch Audi virtual cockpit that is uh, replacing most of the analog instrument consoles that Audi cars uh, came with earlier. But not many people have described in detail as to how this works. So we thought that we are going to take this opportunity to make you go through all the features that uh, this system has and how it works. So let's get going with that and we hope that you find this video useful. Now to start off with as I told you uh, this one is a 12.3 inch screen and it's very high definition. So there is no pixelation, uh, feels very rich and nice. The two gauges here, the temperature gauge and uh, the fuel gauge, although are not digital, they are still lit by physical light. So these are two aspects which are uh, not uh, fully digital on this one. Also the telltale lights when the engine is first turned on. Let me just show you. These lights are also not digital. The Telltale lights uh, which come on are uh, also uh, physical lights and this one is a very uh, processor intensive NVIDIA powered uh, instrument console so it can process a lot of information very fast. Now the first thing that you need to understand is that this gives you the option of uh, changing the view so either you have the traditional looking taco on one side and speedo on the other side or you can change the view wherein these two parameters become smaller and the rest of the things take a more uh, prominent space on the screen. Now how to navigate through the various different features on the virtual cockpit. It may look complicated but it's actually very simple. You don't have to use the right side of the steering wheel at all and only using the left side is going to make you go through everything that's there on the screen. So take a close look at these two buttons. These are the menu buttons which help you get into the menus and explore more of any given screen and this is the uh, symbol that Audi uses uh, for such menus uh, in a lot of uh, other places also like if you look at this trackpad it also has similar uh, symbols so that's how wherever you see uh, such a symbol on the left or the right of the screen that's the button that you have to press to get inside the menu and see more options so that's uh, the first thing that you need to know about now if you look closely uh, you have these tabs here so the top tab is about the fuel uh, efficiency the range basically the systems uh, which have to do with how the car is running the second one is the entertainment source the third one is the connection with your smartphone and the fourth one is navigation so let's see how uh, we can navigate through various different tabs and make use of all the information that's there so now to navigate within the various different tabs you have to press uh, one of these two buttons left or right to see uh, the details inside all the tabs that I just mentioned. Now within this tab which is about the car's consumption, the power efficiency etc. You have to use this wheel to go through various different readouts. This one is a long term memory which tells me that this 2 litre turbo petrol uh, Q7 has been returning a fuel efficiency of 7 kilometers to the litre. Uh, this is the energy consumers which is uh, about the air conditioner and there are a lot of uh, different readouts and now if I have to move to the next tab which is the music source I just have to press this button and it will show me the radio stations which is currently the source right now and I can choose from various different sources just by scrolling this wheel and then pressing it. So that's simple. Now within this if you want more options, as I mentioned you can see this icon here and you just have to press this button and you can use more options, you can you know switch the media source, uh, you can uh, choose from Bluetooth device or CDs or whatever and uh, that's how it works. Now to go back to the previous menu you just have to press this back button and you'll be back. Now going towards the next tab, this is the smartphone tab and uh, for the paired phones you get to choose from any numbers or uh, any contacts 
and uh, and then decide to make a call or whatever you want to do and there are more additional options in this tab as well and you press this and you can either put them to favorites or in the call lists so that's how you get more options now moving to the next tab this is uh, our navigation which gets a lot of prominence on the virtual cockpit and obviously you have a lot more options here so you can choose from among your favorites your last destinations or you can go directly to the map also by scrolling the wheel you will zoom in and with scrolling up you will zoom out so that's also very very convenient it's also giving you a lot of information like uh, your height your altitude that is and the fact that you're not on a road that's uh, not a place which is identified the by the map so it's calling it uh, off-road and also the scale is uh, 2.5 kilometer represented by uh, this distance so this distance this much uh, distance which is about an inch is going to represent about 2.5 kilometers and here's a compass as well so that's that so those are the basics of the Audi virtual cockpit and as I mentioned uh, there are uh, two buttons here so in this case which was car systems readout if you see here you have this another icon so in, in, in the case you are uh, seeing this icon here you have to press the button on the right and you'll see more options so here I'm seeing an additional display option which I can choose from right now there's no display but probably if I want I can choose from a lot of options which include consumption display or average speed or driving time or distance traveled or date and I choose consumption display here and as you can see now the consumption display will always be shown here which was not visible before so there may be a lot of options but it actually is very easy you just have to use uh, these controls here and the rest of the things are pretty intuitive to follow if there are icons on the right or the left you have to use these two buttons scroll to change the view uh, press this button to change the tabs and uh, that's pretty much about it we hope that this video was useful to you and the next time you get to see virtual cockpit we hope that this video will allay your fears you will not be intimidated and if you like the video do hit the like button subscribe to motorway channel share this video with your friends and until next time rev hard rev free and drive safe